Aloha all and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Bodokai 3. I'm Paper Mario Guy and there has been some changes in things that I'm going to do uh, for the first... for, for the playthrough. Um, what I'm going to do is instead of playing on the Z3 difficulty, because uh, I tried that and it seems as though I can only do that with characters that are at a certain level that I am comfortable enough with. Um, so, like, I was trying Z3 Goku, and I literally must have played for about an hour straight on the Raditz battle, the very first battle, and I used the cheapest trick that I could find, like, the, the tr cheapest tricks that I could find, and I still couldn't beat him. There was, a, there was one point where he had half of an orange bar left, and I had three green bars, like three full green bars, and he still wound up beating me just because, like, it's that hard. So I'm going to start off and play on a lower difficulty for now, and then for certain people like Broly or Vegeta maybe, I'll do Z3. But for now, I'm just going to do Z or Z2. It depends. Right now I'm doing Z because... Frankly, like, the headache that I just administered to myself was pretty big, so I'm not going to put myself through that again. So, I'm still going to try to be cheerful about this episode, because, hey, this is the first episode of the LP, and I don't want to start off on a bad foot, even though it seems as though I already have. But anyway, this is like a little kind of cutscene backstory thing, so I'm going to shut up. While searching for the seven magic dragon balls. With his trusted friends by his side, Goku successfully battled many powerful foes until the Earth was attacked by a mysterious warrior race, and so a new battle begins. Alright, so pretty epic if you ask me. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Nice way to start off. <laughs> Just with death and destruction and despair and all that. So, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to sacrifice Super Saiyan 2 for a much needed uh, thing called concentration. It's pretty cool. Now before I go through and do this, so I don't have to talk about it later, I might as well go through it now. Okay, there are four different types of capsules, even though there's only three here. There's ability, which is red capsules. They are your uh, attacks, your transformations, so you can see Super Saiyan. Those are transformations. Kamehameha is a normal attack, so is Dragon Fist. Then this is like a more advanced attack. This is the Dragon Rush attack for war uh, for Goku, Warp Kamehameha. Spirit Bomb's the ultimate, like, death move attack. Uh, then there's fusions, and then there's this capsule called Breakthrough, which gives you every, um, everything that Goku can do except for the fusions. So he can, like, if you have this on, he can have Super Saiyan and stuff like that, and you can only get those capsules by wishing for them from Shenron, I believe. Although I've never seen them... In the the capsule shop, they may be there. Equipment. This um, is the probably the biggest of all of them. Uh, I'm not sure. I could be wrong about that. But anyway, it's the things that like will power you up. Uh, like rage will allow you to be stronger for like 15 seconds of the beginning of the fight. Um, viral heart disease. Uh, I'll get into that. Concentration cuts the amount of key that you uh, take up when you teleport in half. Sparking when you do world tournaments, you get more money. Uh, we got a power. Uh, gives you more experience when you win. Stuff like that. And then item. Uh, some of these are as simple as just reviving some health. Some of them are a little more advanced. Uh, and there's a bunch of them. But majority of them, ma main, the main ones that you want to use are just the health ones. So anyway, here's the main hub, and I'm going to fly around real fast because I can. Uh, you do this by uh, holding in the left bumper, L1, and uh, this is how you go normally. This is how you go with your little boost. So you always want to use the little boost. Gets you around pretty damn fast. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So in this main hub, there's lots of things for you to do. You can just kind of explore, and you'll see some of the landmarks that you would see throughout, like, the thing. Corrin's Tower. 
commies. Look out, all that. Uh, this is the old red ribbon, ribbon, ah, ribbon army base thing. I forget exactly what it was. Some mountains, a city, uh, oh, Kami house, or, well, Grandpa Gohan's house. Then you have Kami's house, and all sorts of things like this that you can find. Um, just as a base thing, but then there are certain actions that you can go in, you can talk to people that, uh, like, are, like, Oolong and Poir and people like that, and even some of the other fighter characters. Like here, Baba's palace, uh, where you could talk to Baba, show her your son, and stuff like that. You can also find money laying around, or Zenny, as it's called in this game, Dragon Balls, the Dragon Radar, and I'm going to show this off real quick. Uh, one of the first things that you can unlock in the game, and it's re actually relatively easy to find. So, uh, it's kind of cool. They kind of hand it to you, although I need to figure out where I am on the map before I... Lose, ah, there it is. Hello. Sand spaceship. So, we're gonna get our first upgrade. Alright, I found something. And you get Bardock. So, he can be used in dual tournament practice modes and all that junk. So, it's pretty cool. Um, these first couple of episodes, I just want to show you some of the hub things. Really, just this episode. But, I'm only gonna have Raditz fight in this. So, anyway. Uh, speaking of Reddits, let's fight him now. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of things that you can do in this hub, and it's a great hub. Uh, I really like it. And, um, I don't know, it's pretty cool. And after certain events, certain things will pop up on the map. Uh, certain things will be triggered. Obviously, the red dots is your next, uh, goal. And sometimes the goal isn't necessarily a fight, but most of the time it will be. So, pretty cool. Alright, so Raditz is here, and oh my god, look at how much less health he has. So, this is a little tactic that I like to use, um, sometimes. And I'm doing this, honestly, in on the Z difficulty, just to make sure that I can beat this first try. Because I'm, like I said, I gave myself a very big headache, and I do not want to have to deal with it again. Uh... But what it is, viral heart disease and vaccine, uh, what, what viral heart disease will do is it will slowly drain your health, both partners, or both people, not just one, so it's not like you're safe from it. But if you have vaccine equipped, you just use vaccine and bada bing bada boom, you're all fine and you are in business, really, like, uh, it's a really, really, really useful tactic to try to use, um, and especially when you're playing against uh, like your like friend or something like that, like I know I used to play against my brother all the time, and he would use that against me, and it would kind of prevent me from using sensu beans, which he hated. So it was kind of like we were both even because we would both have to equip vaccine and stuff like that. So although there would be sometimes where I would pick Broly and a sensu bean and still beat him, so that was always pretty cool. But anyway, um, bef we, I mean, not that the episode's about to end or anything, but um, I would like to personally thank myself. Like, just this is just for me. Um, I'm sure Caboose will agree. But uh, thank you to Mr. Dower Power and Shadow Mario 41, who um, in the last week or so have given us both shoutouts, uh, and they really did help us, and we really, really do appreciate us, uh, pr pre yeah, pre appreciate them, um, it was a really cool gesture from both people, and, like, you can't, I can't really begin to describe how much it really made me happy, because I, we did get a boost in, um, traffic in our channel, and, uh, it's not like we got, like, 400 subscribers or anything, so... I mean, but that's not what we were looking for. We got some more traffic, some people checked us out. We did get some more subscribers, and that was cool. And we actually got our 100th uh, earlier today on March 1st. 1st. Um, yeah, and all that. Hold on! I'm tired of interruptions. Uh, so, anyway... Um... Goku has died because Piccolo 
Special Beam Cannon straight through both of them. But there's two sands more on the way. So, uh, it kind of skips. There's no, like, because it's still the Sand Saga, it doesn't skip or anything. There's no other cutscene, so. But for now, I mean, um, I'm gonna end the video here. Go out into the hub world. Um, yeah. So, uh, hopefully the commentary and the whole, like, gist of things is a little bit more put together tomorrow. It just, like I said, with that whole, like, it was literally well over an hour of the same battle, and I was just getting so frustrated, so, um, we'll see. But for now, I'm Paper Mario Guy. Again, thank you to Dower Power and Shadow Mario 41, and everybody who subscribed, and, uh, stay tuned for episode 4. See you guys later.